Alright guys, I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my videos. If you do like the video, make sure you like the video, comment, rate, subscribe, ask me questions down in the comment box below. But in this video, it's really more so like, I wouldn't say necessarily a review, but more so like my experience with like these shampoos and everything like that. Uh, because I recommended it, so I thought it was like the only right way to do it was to tell like what happened or like my experience with using these shampoos and kind of like why I'm reverting back to like my old shampoos that I was using way back. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna tell y'all like exactly what happened and like what's going on with shampoos I have and like what I'm using and kind of like my process of me like kind of switching up so that way you are fully aware of what's going on and then also too so you can try these tips and methods yourself. So. Let's get into it. So first, what we have now is what I was using, and it was the, this, the Shea Moisture. There you go, camera, there we go. It was this, the Shea Moisture. Uh, pretty much it's like a natural shampoo. And then I was using, like a shampoo, it's like a shampoo and conditioner, right? So it is both of these, both of these, both of these, both of these. So, um, Pretty much my experience, they were okay. I really didn't really like the smell of them. Like, I don't know, it didn't really smell like I washed my hair. Like, you know what I'm saying? It didn't have really like the scent like that. And I know some people like that, but it was just kind of like, it was just, it, I don't know, it didn't have no type of scent. Like sometimes I'm like, okay, I want to, I want my hair to know that I washed it. You know what I mean? Like me personally, I want something. So this kind of had nothing. Like after you wash it, it was like bland, which was okay, but then, I've started noticing flakes with these two. Like I had another one in my video. I'm gonna probably go revert back to that video. Um, like how to wash your hair and everything like that. I had another one, it was like kind of in a brown bottle with the shampoo. So I'm gonna revert back to this because these two, I thought if you bought two of them together, they would be good, but it's just not cleaning my hair as well. Like I'm noticing flakes. I'm noticing like my hair is just feeling like not good. Like I don't know how to explain it. It was flakes. And then I'm just like, I just washed my hair. My hair shouldn't be flaking like that. So that's what I was noticing. And I don't know if it worked with my products, my two, my castor oil, and then also my Shea Moisture uh, uh, Curling Gel Souffle. So I was using those two and I'm just like, it's just flaking up way too much. I don't know if it's the seasons changing or whatever like that, but yeah, these two, I don't really like. I don't really like to be honest with y'all. And then I was like, this is a deep conditioner and this is like a deep moisturizing shampoo. So I was like, all right, bet it's going to be good. It's going to be goaded. I don't have nothing to worry about. You know, I trust Shea Moisture, but I say all that say, it's like I'm reverting back to my good old faithful Tresemme. Like if you've been following me for a minute, like y'all know, like I kind of started out with this, like the Tresemme is like, it's so old. Like these are so big bottles that they last for so long. They put so much in here and this smells really good too. So I'm reverting back to this. I know this is like when I'm washing my hair with this, it straightens out my hair. Um, and I know, you know, with waves, you don't want your hair to be curly. So this straightens out really, really good. And this, this conditioner is so good and it smells so great. But these together are really good. It uh, eliminates frizz and control. And they're both the same products. I didn't, I thought cause it was like a different color. It wasn't, but this is a shampoo. This is shampoo, this is a conditioner. Normally the shampoo is like in the black bottle and the conditioner is in a white. But uh, yeah, this Tresemme is really, it smells so good. Like I actually get compliments too. I mean, it's not that strong, but I, I guess if you're on me, like you can kind of smell it. But uh, yeah, I'm reverting back to this cause this cleans my hair a lot better and I'm noticing a, a lot better smell. And then I'm also noticing that like, I don't have as many flakes and my hair is a lot silkier. Like I, this is true, like it does work. So um, I just really want to tell you guys, like I'm really trying to go back to this Tresemme. I love the natural, but at the same time, I want to make sure my hair is clean. I want to make sure I don't have any flakes like that. Like that really just kind of turned me off a little bit. So um, I'm also going to try to replace Cause it, that was expensive, the uh, Shea Moisture. So I'm probably gonna try to replace that coming up, like get the other bottle that I like. And uh, I'll tell you my experiences with that. But this is just like the old faithful good. If you watch my older videos, like it, I definitely recommend this and I still use it. Like I still have it. And I was just like switching up cause I'm like, okay, maybe I wanna do more so 
natural shampoos and conditioners like that will probably be better and it is better but i'm just noticing like the hair cleaning is just not it it's not it so um yeah definitely try this out this is a tresemme it says 40 hours of frizz control and shine i have noticed that and then it has like argan oil and silk protein so that's probably what's really helping me out but this is just this gets a stamp for black people if you're black you know what i'm saying this is definitely something you want to check out if you wash your hair and everything like that no matter what type of hairstyle you have 360s 180s if you got locks if you have like maybe braids or whatever like that this is just going to moisturize your hair really really well and this is what kind of got me stuck on tresemme like this is just really really good and this is what i like to use so uh i really want to tell you guys about that but yeah back to this it just does not clean as well like i don't know what is going on with their formula and then two i also know that um shea moisture has been changing up their, uh, their formula because they've been switching up the the ceos the founders the owners and everything like that like the company changed so i have noticed that the shea moisture has been a little bit cheaper on uh the quality of their products. I don't know, I'm just, I'm trying to hold on for dear life because I've been using the Shea Moisture for so long, for so, so long, so I'm really hoping that they get it together. But these two, I'm just, for the price, I'm just like, man, it's not doing this, it's not doing this good job. And let me see the smell, smell again. I mean, it smells good, it's kind of like more of a, I would say like, kind of, it kind of smells like Shea Butter a little bit. It doesn't, I think it has Shea Butter in it actually, yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. It smells like shea butter. And that's cool, but at the same time, like when you're going throughout the week, you're washing hair, you're doing your day-to-day -day things, you want your hair to smell like, you know, you look up or whatever, like, you want, oh yeah, my hair smells good. Like, I like how that smells. I want like days after my, my uh, shampoo and conditioner. I want my hair to be nice and right. You know what I mean? So that's why I use the shea, uh, Tresemme. Um, I'm taking a break from this to let you guys know, but, uh, yeah, you definitely should pick this up. You probably don't have to get it as big as the bottle, but yeah, definitely try these out because this is what I've been using for the longest. This is just like has been a part of my channel and I need you guys to know that uh, so you can try it out and tell me how it works for your hair. But as I said before, it strains your hair out really good, which is really good for waves and it lays it down a lot easier. I noticed when I'm using this, my hair just, even after the shampoo, like I'm noticing my hair is just like laying down, like, I don't know what they put in it, but this is like, it's just laying down immediately. And then by the time I put it on the conditioner, it's it's like, it's laying down, then it's moisturized before I put anything in it. So that's what really, really what I like about it is like, as soon as I put a conditioner in, like, and I use cold water, my hair is laying down and it's shining, it's nice, smells great. So I'm like, that, like, this is what I like, this is what I'm gonna use for a minute. But um, other than that, that was it. Just really wanted to tell you guys that, that I'm switching more towards these. I like these a lot better. So um, if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. And then when I get the other uh, shampoo for Shea Moisture, I'll let you guys know how I like that. And that should be another video as well. But just need to keep you guys updated. Need to keep you guys updated on that because I do get asked about that. And then shampoo and conditioner is also important for your waves as well. So I want to make sure you guys knew that. And I'm, you know, stay up to date on like the changes that I do for my channel, like for my channel and then even too for the products I use. So that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Ask me any questions down in the comment box below. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.